Time now for our Friday Making a Difference report. And tonight, a woman who has made it her full-time job to give children who have nowhere to go a refuge. NBC's George Lewis has our story. L.A.'s Skid Row is no place to grow up. But all too often, that's where the children of the homeless find themselves, living out of shelters, automobiles, sometimes the sidewalk. We asked 11-year-old Brianna Audinet how many places she's lived. About five. That's hard. You were saying the hardest thing for you? But for me, is I never get used to the smells down here. Seven years ago, Agnes Stevens, a retired school teacher, set up this place, School on Wheels, to help the children of the homeless. But to me, they're the most forgotten children in our country. So you wind up with 33%. Here, the youngsters can link up with volunteer tutors no, who work wrong. with them one-on-one -on -one to make sure they don't fall behind in school. How will... Agnes now has about 400 volunteers all over Southern California. It's a really uh, little um, place of light and warmth where they can come in here and forget where they're living. And there are plenty of success stories homeless kids who suddenly blossom in school, like Brianna, who wants to be a writer. Like last time when I was over here, I got like student of the month. <laughs> homeless mom Edith Savala says the tutors have turned her son Ed into a scholar. Because of them, my son, he's in honor classes. I know. <laughs> there may be as many as a million homeless children in this country, largely ignored by society. Put your name down but not by Agnes Stevens. And to be a voice for them, I, I couldn't, nothing could be better. I mean, really, truly, it's, it's just hard to put into words. Taking kids from Skid Row and pointing them toward a better life. George Lewis, NBC News, Los Angeles.